Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing pregnancy yoga, especially to enhance baby brain development. Some research shows that classical music may enhance baby's brain development as well as exercise during pregnancy. So we will do our yoga poses to classical music today. You don't need any equipment for this class, but if you wanted to use blocks for modifications or if you wanted to have a mat that you could fold up under your knee or grab a blanket or a towel, we are going to do one pose on our knees. I will keep making pregnancy, yoga, Pilates, and workouts every week. If you like videos like these, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Starting in any comfortable seated position. You can either be cross-legged on your knees in butterfly pose, sitting up tall. We'll start with some gentle neck circles. Let's bring one leg open to the side. Our hips can still be facing towards the front. Let's stretch up and over. Deep breath into our side ribs here. Exhale, come on up. Switch to the other side. Exhale, coming up. We can come to hands and knees now. If your wrists are bothering you, you can place a blanket underneath or come down right onto your elbows, rounding out for cat. Inhale, arching, not letting your belly flop out, pulling your baby in. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, extend. One last time. Let's take some gentle hip circles or whatever movement feels good. Going both directions. Coming up to a centered position, making sure that our shoulders are over wrists, hips over knees, re-engaging your core, pulling your baby in, moving into a bird dog, lifting opposite arm and leg. The work comes from not letting your hips sway here, releasing down, switching to the other side, exhale, lift. Moving back and forth with your breath. Coming down, we'll take a thread the needle, taking one arm, threading it through. You can place your weight on that shoulder, releasing down. Take a couple of deep breaths here. When you're ready, pressing into your hand, coming up, switching to the other side. Coming up, 
pressing into downward dog. Again, if it feels better, you can be down on your elbows here. Pedaling out through our heels. And pressing both heels down towards the ground, even if they don't touch. Lengthening through your spine, spreading your fingers and toes. Looking up towards your belly. Pulling your baby into your spine. Let's take tiny steps all the way to the top of our mat. You can take your feet wide, bend your knees if you need to. Placing your hands on your shins. Let's look up, lengthen your spine, bending your knees, folding forward, sweeping your arms out to the side, coming all the way up to standing, looking up at your thumbs, sitting back into chair pose, sitting as if you're sitting back in a chair. Shoulders are rolled down your back, hands are reaching towards the top corner of the room. Pulling your baby in. Taking some deep breaths in, expanding through your side ribs and back body. Inhale, coming up. Let's step back to warrior one. You can release your hands apart, shoulders rolled down again. Press the outside edge of your back foot into the ground. On your next exhale, re-engage your core, stepping forward. Stepping back with the other leg. Finding your warrior position. Strong legs. Hips are squared towards the front. Beautiful. Exhale, step forward, sitting back into chair one last time. Inhale, release up. We can bring our hands down. Let's step and open up to warrior two now. Relaxing your shoulders down your back, opening up through your groin. You can place your back hand on your belly, reaching up and over, deep breaths into your side ribs. Straightening your front leg. Let's bring our back leg in just a little bit. Taking our arms out to the side again, moving into triangle or trikonasana. Stacking your shoulders over top of your front leg. If it feels good, you can glance up at your top hand. Slight tuck in your chin for lots of length in the back of your neck. Steady breaths. Re-engaging your legs. On your next exhale, using your obliques, come on up. Turning your feet out, moving into goddess pose, then switching to warrior two on the other side. Back leg is perpendicular to your front leg, bending your front leg. Pull 
focusing on steady breath. Taking your back hand to your belly, reaching up and over, peaceful warrior. Preparing for a triangle. We can come up, exhale, straightening our front leg, pulling our back leg in a little bit, tipping to the side, stacking your shoulders over top of your front leg. One more breath here. Exhale. Coming up, moving through goddess one more time. Let's step our feet together. We can take a quick sip of water. We'll move into our balances here. If you feel more comfortable with a wall or a chair, you can grab a wall or a chair. And we will ground through our left foot. You can bring your right foot up to your calf or all the way up to your thigh. Let's bring our hands to our belly. On an exhale, we're gonna bring our baby in towards our spine. Your fingertips should move closer together. Inhale, breathing into your side ribs. Bring all around. Exhale, pulling your baby in. Inhale, breathing all around. Exhale, pulling in. Beautiful. We're going to take our knee now up in front of us, keeping our balance. Then open up to the side, keeping our hips facing towards the front. Shoulders are rolled down. Continue to breathe. Exhale, bring our knee back in, squaring our hips. You take both hands to our hips now, and if it feels okay for you, you can stretch out the bottom of your foot in front before you lower down. Good. Moving into tree on the other side, spreading your toes, coming up to your calf or inner thigh. Finding your balance, bringing your hands to your belly pulling your baby in as if you're giving them a hug. Inhale, expanding through your ribs. Exhale, inhale. One last time. Good. Bring your knee out in front. Once you have your balance, opening up. Coming back to a centered position. And if it feels good, extend or simply bring your foot down. Good. Let's bring our hands up. You can either have your feet together or if it feels better, you can also put them a little bit farther apart. And then inhale, we'll tip to the side. Exhale, coming up again. Switching sides, inhale over, 
exhale up beautiful moving with your own breath last time good let's come it down to our knees you can either fold your mat up underneath or if you have a blanket you could also put your blanket under one knee we'll come into a 90 90 lunge so you have it 90 degrees here and then 90 degrees with your back leg taking your opposite hand to front knee putting it on top bending your back leg moving into a nice quad stretch here tucking your tailbone under steady breaths here releasing your back foot we can move forward into a deeper lunge. You can stay high here, or if it feels good, you can grab blocks or come all the way down, placing your hands on the inside edge of your front foot. Exhale, pulling your baby in, you can move back. Let's flex our front foot, hinge at our hips, stretching through your hamstrings gently. Good, coming out of the pose, let's switch to the other side. Taking your front hand across, moving into your quad stretch. Good, we can move forward now, releasing your back foot, shifting your weight. Feel free to stay tall here or fold forward. Exhale, coming out. Flex your front foot again, gentle stretch. Coming up, we can make our way down to a seated position. Let's bring our feet out in front of us. If it's easier to have them wide apart, you can. You can also sit on a pillow or a block if that feels good. Flex your front feet. Let's sit up as tall as we can. Breathe here. Shoulders are rolled down. Deep breaths, expanding your ribs like an umbrella would open. We're going to move into a variation of wild thing or we can do a side stretch so the first option is to keep your knees bent place your hand fingers pointing away from you and then press into a side bend if it's safe and comfortable for you you can keep one leg straight 
pull the other leg in, go up on the ball of your toe. Same leg, but straight, reach that hand back. And then you're going to move into wild thing. Keeping your baby pulled in, your ribs pulled in. One more breath here. Releasing out. Good, I'm gonna flip around to the other side. Again, feel free to bring your knees together, hand out a nice side stretch here, or straightening out one leg, bringing the other ball of your foot up, fingers point behind you, and then lifting up, wilding. One more breath here. Release down. Good. Let's move into Janusirshasana. One leg forward, bringing the other leg in. Bringing our sternum centered over our front leg. Inhale our arms up. And then we'll gently tip forward. Exhale, coming up, switching to the other side. Squaring your hips and your sternum. Lift and reach forward, keeping your front foot flexed. Come on up. Let's bring both feet apart for a wide-legged fold. Boosting yourself up a little bit. You can stay sitting tall or if it feels good, fold forward. Knees and toes are pointing up. Walking your hands in if you're folded forward. Let's stretch to one side. Stretch to the other side. We have two options here. Bringing your feet together for butterfly or baddha konasana, or if you wanted to practice your yogi squat, now would be a good time to do that as well. Wherever you are, releasing through your hips. If you're in butterfly, you can fold forward. Inhale, come on up. We can rest now in Shavasana, getting down on your side if you wanted to grab pillows or a bolster for under your knee or under your head. You can also put a blanket on top. Bringing your hand to your belly, connecting with your baby. Taking a couple of big breaths.
releasing your whole body. You can continue resting here, or if you're ready to finish up with me, circling your fingers, wrists, and ankles. Taking any stretches that feel good. Finding your way back up to a seated position. I will read the yoga card or birth affirmation for today. My contractions are not bigger than me because they are me. Namaste to you. Namaste to the babies. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed that class, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. And of course, I will keep making a pregnancy yoga, Pilates, and workouts every week. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. And to support me, share this class with another mom friend that you think would enjoy it. You can also go down to the description box below and I have a complete guide on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor, a pregnancy meal plan that I put together as a registered dietitian, as well as a pelvic floor guide on how to prepare your pelvic for birth and the fastest recovery after. I will also link to the whole pregnancy yoga and workout playlist. You can go through it, save the different workouts for whenever you like, as well as my natural birth preparation playlist if you're hoping to prepare for a vaginal delivery.